hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about lifting state up in react so basically first of all let's see what are we going to cover in this video uh, first of all we will see what is meant by lifting state and then we will see how to how do we send data from parent to child we already know this since we have covered this in one of the previous video but lifting state uh, means sending data from child to parent so in order to learn learn or understand that we have to first see how do we send generally the data from parent to child component and at the end of the video we are going to see an interview question so uh, again like this lifting state up uh, is kind of a we can do lifting state in a different ways okay but since we have not learned some advanced concepts as of now so i'm going to tell you the most basic way of how to send the data from a child component to a parent component so first of all let us see about lifting state up so in react each component have its own state which represents data that can change over time and affect the components rendering however in complex applications where uh, where multiple components need access to the same state data managing state separately in each component can be difficult to maintain and prone to bugs basically if you have uh, same state in different components it is tough to uh, maintain it right so what we do is we maintain it in a common component and we send the updates or uh, in those in the states in different components to a main source component okay so lifting states up involves identifying the shared state that multiple components rely on and moving it to the closest common ancestor component of those component by doing so you centralize the management of that state in a single location making it easier to control and ensuring that all the components have access to the same up-to-date state information now again uh, it doesn't matter if you if you have not understood this completely as of now because as i said lifting a state is usually uh, performed or you know uh, like we achieve it using uh, the advanced concepts so since we have not uh, learned yet but in this video our only motive is to understand the basic way of sending uh, data from child component to a parent component okay so now let us go to our code editor and we will see how can we send the data from our child component to our uh, parent component so i'm just going to remove everything initially okay and uh, we are going to start from scratch so first of all since here we are talking about sending the data from one component to another so we need two components one will be are going to be our parent component which is app.js and one is going to be our child.js so first of all i'm going to create the uh, functional component okay this is the snippet rafce and now i'm going to write the basic code in my child component okay so here i'm going to first of all create a react fragment and then we are going to write some basic uh, line of code which says uh, like child component okay and for now we will just create one simple button so we'll say update anyway this is just to showcase and what we will do is we will call our this child component into our parent component and in parent component also we will remove this basic code and we will write a react fragment and call our child component okay so this is the basic thing that is done now we will check our front end so if you see we have child component and update button that is coming from our child component okay so this is getting rendered here now what we want is first of all we will see the basic scenario how we send the data from parent to child suppose if i am to send some data oh, so data as in we like as of now we are not creating states and all because we just want to understand the concept okay the basic concept so i'm just creating a simple variable okay which says const name equals to and i'm going to write the name as the humble coder okay and uh, now i just want this uh, name to be sent to this child component so what i'll do is i'll just write data which will be the name of my prop and i will send it to us uh, i will pass name to it okay now if i have to get this data here so we have already seen that how to get it so props and here i can write uh in this way right so props dot name so just to make it easy i'm just going to remove this child component i'm just going to write simple line like hello and so now it will say the hello the humble coder okay so i think there is some mistake okay so we have not given a uh, prop name as name but we have called it as data here so we need to give this name okay so yeah so you can see right so the data is now getting passed from parent to child okay this was simple this we have already seen so the our name was getting passed from parent to child and this is how 
it is getting displayed now the main point of this video is how can we send the data from child uh, component to parent component okay so we are now going to see that so basically whenever we have to achieve that the most basic way of doing it to have a function in the parent component so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function okay and i'm just going to call it as parent and uh, here so what as of now we are writing we are just writing an alert in the function which says hi okay and as of now we don't know we don't want this uh, different things like because this was just to explain the passing of data from parent to child so i'm just going to remove all these things okay so we have this basic thing now as of now so what i've done is i've created a function from a parent in the parent component okay like in our app.js now i'm going to pass this function okay so i'm just going to write like func and here i'm going to pass my parent component so parent function so parent function i'm passing now here i want that uh, on as soon as i click on this button okay so i'm just writing the on click event handler as soon as i click on it the that function should be called basically and a argument should be passed to that function okay so first of all how can i call that function over here so props dot func okay this is the basic uh, you know props way of doing it now i'll just create some constant here okay this says again uh, name or we will just do a greet message okay greet and it says good morning maybe and now this time i want that this greet should be passed to my function and then here what i will do is uh, so before doing this let's first of all see without uh, like i'll just uh, you know i'll just uh, remove this basic code first of all and we will see that uh, initially what is getting what is coming in the alert okay so i'm just refreshing it and as soon as i click on update okay so my alert will not come directly because i have not written a uh, that uh, on click thing so okay so i have i have passed greet from here so i want that greet should come here and in the alert message i should get a greet okay so let's see whether it works or not so you can see when i'm clicking on update my greeting message is coming okay my greeting message is coming so now you can clearly see that greeting message that we have written is was written in our child component okay here i have written this greeting message and i am sending this greeting message data from my child component to parent component but how am i doing it i am passing it as an argument to a function that is defined in the parent component okay so this is what i was talking about this is the most basic way of sending data from child component to parent component so if in your interviews or anywhere if you get this question how can you lift state up there can be many answers for it and that those answers also we are going to see in the upcoming videos once we learn the advanced concepts like redux and all but as of now this is the most basic answer if someone ask you how can you pass data from a child component to parent component the most basic way is to have a basic function in the parent component and to call that function in the child component and then pass the data uh, as an argument to that function in the parent component right that is what we have done so we have created a function in the parent component and then here we are calling that function okay and then we are passing our argument to the uh, function because since the function is get uh, defined in parent component so here our data will get passed as an param uh, like as an argument to the function uh, function and it will take it whatever the data we have passed as a parameter so i hope now it will be very clear for all of you uh, if you have any doubt about this please let me know in the comment section and uh, now let us see the interview question so what is the need or why lift state up is needed okay so well imagine you have multiple components in your application that needs to access the same data okay managing this state separately in each component can quickly become cumbersome and lead to code duplication lifting state up allows you to centralize the state management leading to cleaner and more maintainable code and now as i already said you don't uh, like don't consider this as only specific to state okay when we are saying lifting state up it means like even passing the data also so it can be a simple constant also or a simple variable you can talk about in this case okay so it just means that if we create uh, like a state in every single component it will result in code duplication and it will be very uh, complex you know to understand when exactly which component like uh, which state is getting updated so if the state management is in a common place it will be easy to manage but the main crux of our this video is to understand how can we pass data from the child component to a parent component so that's all for this video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video and i will see you in next video